Want to see something cool? Despite growing up where the men are men and the cows run scared along that three miles of 96 known for its derriere. It's not the cows, it's the turd works. This is the first time I've ever beheld the anachronistic visage of a fully functioning farm watering windmill. This is so cool! I've seen a million of these that were as non-functioning ornamentation as my vasectomated double bubble bowl and bag planted on suburban monocultures by people who think they want to live on a farm but have never tugged a teat or ambled bare feet upon a pasture paddy. But they're all big hat, no cattle. Half the time they don't even spin and I've never seen one with a functioning well underneath. This one, though, actually delivers. So let's have a butcher's and explore how it works. This is a hot single in my area with a gearbox and crank up on top. The wind spins the wheel and the shaft feels a tug. Gravity takes care of the return stroke. On the downstroke, it charges the pump head with a slug of water, possibly through leather valves in the unlikely event they're still original. Then when the climatic kinetic energy reaches its climax, it lifts the slug up the pipe and overflows out the top, down the other pipe and into the water trough. It's elegantly simple and a beautiful application of necessity being a mother of an inventor. I think this particular one is most likely an air motor, judging by its shape. They've been making these for almost 140 years now and are based out of Texas. This one is at an excavating company located on what was once a farm and isn't watering anything these days but a few Canadian geese. But she's still working, still pumping, and gave me a chance to share a beautiful bit of engineering history with you today. And that's pretty cool.